Hello everybody, it's Zaxter99. We're gonna go ahead and do some March of the Living here real quick. Gotta go find the Zack guy hiding out with my son at uh, my cabin that was taken away from me in the divorce two years ago. You already found out in this game that my ex-wife, I already forgot her name, uh, Chloe, I think, uh, she's dead. We found her dead body. But we're looking for our son now. And we found a note from some bastard uh, named Zack. Can't imagine why there'd be a Zack that was a bastard. I mean, I thought all Zacks were cool. <laughs> anyway, this guy's got our son. And we are going to try to find him uh, in the zombie apocalypse. Try to survive long enough to get to the cabin where he has my son. And hope uh, that we can get our son back in the apocalypse. So let's go ahead and continue on here with where we left off last night. All right, Arch of the Living. I actually like this game pretty good. I mean, the graphics kind of suck, but I like the choices. I like kind of how the game goes and the strategy involved. So, taking a look at my two guys, we got a liar with us named Elliot. We have Greg, who is my main guy. That's me in the game. And uh, getting a little bit tired, so uh, let's see, have we... We already scavenged everything in this town, but we do need to rest. So let's go ahead and rest. And we'll click it here. Get rid of that fatigue. Hopefully we can find a safe spot to rest in town. And we did. And now we're just waiting. Hey, how's it going, Magic? Welcome to the stream. Our fatigue is running out. We can go a little bit longer with hunger, but... Too much longer. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the map here, guys. We are right here. The green spot shows your current location if you look at the key down here. And we need to not only get up to this yellow one so we can move to the next procedurally generated uh, map layout, but then we got to get over here all the way across. And then we got to get all the way over here to... Oh, no, it's right here. Sorry. On well, the third one is Zach's cabin. That's where we're going. Trying to get our son back. So, we can only go one spot at a time. Each time we do, we risk attacks by zombies and other random events coming up that could get us killed. Decisions that have to be made that could, uh, you know, end our game. Uh, I've never Skyped uh, you. I had questions. Uh, I don't really Skype with just random people, Magic Shots, uh, on the stream. I mean, I'll be more than happy to answer questions, like, in chat and stuff like that. I think I've responded to you. Uh, a couple of questions you had, or at least one. But yeah, I don't just Skype with, like, anybody, man. I don't even use Skype, anyway. So, Alright, so let's go ahead and move down here. But it's nothing personal, man. Anyway. So, it's almost midnight. And a traveler hails you from a distance. Here's one of those random events that came up. A uh, traveler hails you from a distance. Raise your gun and tell the stranger to keep his distance while you pass him. Stop walking and ask him from a safe distance if he has any goods to trade. Or carefully walk towards him. All right. So, uh, I think carefully walk towards him. Ask him if he has any goods to trade. I have, don't remember, but I think we might be running low on ammo. All right, stop and shout from a safe distance, asking if the stranger wants to trade. Unfortunately, the noise of your voice has attracted the attention of some nearby infected who stroll directly onto the road in front of you. The stranger doesn't seem to want anything to do with his fight and quickly disappears. Well, that turned bad quick. Thought we had, might have a possible traitor, but now that we got a zombie attack, but it's only three zombies, I think we'll be okay. Yeah, we definitely do need ammo, so I was on the right path by trying to uh, trade. I'm trying to remember how we got Greg uh, is equipping the hammer because our we're out of uh, pistol ammo. And then Elliot, he is a master of the shotgun. He does have 12 shots left. All right, so let's go ahead and have me... I am going to, I'm going to just move right here for now, and then I'm going to have Elliot go ahead and take a shot. I think I'm going to try to do the spray bullets attack thing. 
Well, maybe I should just go for a single. I don't know. Let's go ahead and go for single shots, I think, right now. All right, so let's go ahead and go for him. Unpause. Come on. And one down. Two down. Out of bullets, he has to reload. Reload. There you go, take a shot. And, uh, okay. So we find a shoe. You're missing the matching shoe, but let's face it, pairing it with uh, any other shoe would uh, do fine these days. That makes sense. Go ahead and have Elliot pick that up since uh, and you're streaming pretty late. Yeah, I just got done watching a streamer. I've been watching him play in the coaling. Uh, he kind of ended early, so I decided to go ahead and play some of this game. I played this game last night and streamed it last night a little bit earlier than this. And uh, I like this game pretty well, so I figured I'd go ahead and continue from where I saved last night. All right, so we're getting pretty hungry now. I think it'd be smart to go ahead and eat. We do have 14 rations of food, and we're going to go ahead and both eat and uncheck whoever you don't want to eat in this game. And uh, so now both of our hunger is up, and we can continue on. So now we're here. We ultimately need to get all the way up here. I guess we'll move over here. Browser are increasing. Yeah, 12.53 in New York. Yep, sounds about right, Magic. It's uh, I'm two hours earlier, so it's uh, 10.53 here. Care for a little game? A man standing in a hastily made table asked. There's quite a bit of food on it for you. He explained that he has a 22 revolver loaded with blanks and proposes to play Russian roulette with you. He insists on a wager of five rations. Hmm, wow. Play or don't play? Nah, I don't think I want to gamble. I think I'm doing pretty well without gambling. Yeah, I'm not going to play. Yeah, it was a stupid plan anyway. I guess we'll do this the hard way then. The man pulls out another gun and attacks you. So because we won't play his game, he attacks us. Wow, this is what I'm talking about. The decisions you make uh, can affect your game or ultimately be the end of your game. So hopefully we can take this loser on. He's a bandit with 10 hit points. If we had played his game, it probably wouldn't have went well anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and have I'm just going to stand still with Greg, and I'm going to have Elliot go ahead and blast his ass. Go ahead and take the shot, Elliot. Pause. Boom. Missed. Of course. Come on. Ah, oh, he hit me. Come on, Elliot. Do I have to reload? Actual take place. I'm getting hit by this pump. Reloading. Take your shot, Elliot. Come on. Jesus Christ. I got effed up in that one. Lost half my health. Seems the man was very dishonest. The cans of food he had stacked up uh, for you were all empty anyway. Yeah. But he was trying to rip us off anyway. You feel no pity for the now dead swindler. Well, of course not. I mean, I have no pity for him. I have pity for my main guy here who's half dead because of this punk loser. Wow. Food rations. He did have two actual food rations on him. Pick those up. Those go up here. But I have no, I have nothing to help me with healing. I definitely need to make it to a city ASAP. All right, not good, guys. I need to make it to a city. And now we're all the way up here. A city is gonna be one, two, three spots away, long ways away from where we need to go. This is not good. Crap. Uh, let's see. Now what do we do? Go out of our way to go back down to the city? Or there's no cities it doesn't look like up coming up this way. And city is probably the only place where we're gonna get supplies to help heal. Unless we run into a trader or something like that. I think we're gonna go ahead and go for the random chance that we'll run into a trader or something. We probably should go down here to the city out of the way, but I'm gonna risk it. Well, I'm right here. Okay, so I was thinking I was up here. Okay, that's why I wasn't doing it. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go up here anyway. 
I'm hoping that we run into a trader or something where we can get some medicine. First aid kit or something. Which the only thing I've seen is medicine that gives you one hit point back at a time. Another random event that doesn't look good. A wild dog hears you approaching and begins to growl and bark. It seems to be injured badly and you notice the initials HH branded into it. Uh, right next to a large bite mark that can be seen on its back. It doesn't look like it's going to make it. You can hear moans and grunts in the distance, so you'll have to act quickly before the rotters come to investigate. Alright, uh, try to uh, quiet the dog with some food. End the dog suffering or run past the dog. Hmm. I don't know if we can get a pet dog to come with us. We want to try to do the right thing, it seems like, in this game. In the dog suffering. Run past the dog. <sighs> shoot it. Zombies will probably come, and I assume that shoot it is what it means by in the dog suffering. It seems to be injured badly. Let's go ahead and end the dog suffering. That seems like the right thing to do to me. A loud bang echoes out from the road. A brief whimper follows quickly after. The dog is in a better place now. You move quickly before the infected get too close. Alright. Alright, fatigue is getting up there. Hmm. Go ahead and keep moving, I guess. We are here now. Move up here. We're going to pass out in a minute from fatigue. Oh boy, this is not good. Sensing movement ahead of you, you drop down by the side of the road, hidden from view. You peek out, and while your instincts were correct, you find, or what you find, was not what you were expecting. An ungainly man dressed in priest garb is stumbling down the road in your direction. Wave to the priest to try and get his attention? Yeah, let's do that. You wave to the priest, whose uh, demeanor changes as he notices you. Hello there, he says with a genuine smile. He then proceeds to tell you about how he has been roaming around, offering spiritual guidance and supplies to survivors that he comes across. Might you allow me to offer you a blessing so that you can do the Lord's work? Uh, I'll definitely accept the blessing. We're in pretty dire need. Hopefully he can heal me. Uh, you accept the offering. Praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. For he says in a sing-song voice, drawing a, a cross on your forehead. He then hands you a small box, which, uh, to your delight, contains an assortment of rounds. Head out and do the Lord's work, child, and if we meet again, perhaps you will join my flock. He laughs, then goes along on his way. But he didn't help me heal or anything like that, and uh, I got some shotgun shells, which that's good. But I'm going to have to try to rest here. Uh, take a look and see where we're at. We're here now. I have to try to rest. There's no town inside anywhere, and I don't know that I can make it anyway. Let's go ahead and rest. Uh, this is a risky zone to rest. Select two. Select who remains awake to protect the group. Both so tired. I guess Greg is going to... Uh, Elliot will stay awake for right now. See what happens. And I like this game. Oh crap, he's gonna fall down too. He's about to pass out. Hmm, this is interesting. It's letting me go ahead and rest all the way up though, even though he's completely spent. That's good. I didn't think it would do that. I figured something would happen. All right, so we got, we need to eat for both of us. We're gonna go ahead and eat. And now we're gonna go ahead and rest again and let, Greg is gonna stay awake. Let Elliot rest. All right, growls are way up there. Why is his fatigue not going up and going away? Wait a minute. Yeah, Greg's, Greg's the one that's up. Oh, finally it's coming up, okay. Took a while, I guess because he was over exhausted, so it took a while before it started going away. The growls are still pretty intense. It's like four o'clock in the morning. But we seem to be doing okay. Well, we needed rest, so we had to do that. No town nearby to rest safely. 
Go ahead and have Elliot reload. Got lots of shotgun ammo now for him. We're gonna go ahead and continue on moving up this direction. This shows you how far you how much further you have to go. Okay, I like that. We're almost there. Okay. You're taking a hike through the forest when you come across a, uh, the carcass of an unfortunate slain deer. Taking a quick examination, you discover a pair of crossbow bolts lodged into its head. There doesn't appear to be any other visible wounds, at least on the sides that you can see. Set up a safe place, or set up a place to cook the deer, leave the deer alone. Hmm. Why would we not go ahead and eat it if it hasn't been bitten or anything? Go ahead and go for it, why not? Using whatever you can find nearby, you manage to set up a small uh, campfire to cook with. Before you uh, set it alight, however, you decide to give the deer a second examination. It's fortunate that you did, too, because the underside has uh, more than a few hidden bite marks you hadn't seen before. Knowing that the meat is most likely infected now, will you still try to cook and consume it? No way. Uh, cook the unbitten parts uh, of the corpse? No. Uh, trait cook? Cook it carefully? Okay, I don't have a cook expert in the group that can do this so we're gonna go ahead and leave it alone you decide to leave the deer where it is and move onwards better to play it safe than to mess with wild bitten food for sure all right so we are in a forest now man we're hungry again look at that damn all right we're gonna go ahead and eat again we're gonna have to camp out again because uh, greg is tired again damn because those long stretches where you have a long line, they get more tired and more hungry, it looks like. Uh, Elliot will stay awake again. Guys are getting tired quick now. This is definitely a more casual game, you know. Uh, it depends on if you like these strategy, kind of thought-provoking kind of games where you gotta think or like kind of action games, but I like this one. We're gonna go ahead and let Elliot rest now. Eight. Growls are going up. Okay. Now, at just about midnight, we're fully rested, it looks like. We're going to go ahead and move on. Go for this little short route. And this shouldn't be that far to go. Yep, right up here. Okay. But we ran into a pack of three zombies. Well, Elliot has all the shotguns. I'm going to have Greg go ahead and stay in place here. And I'm going to have Elliot take the shot. Pause. Load. Hurry, 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 hurry. There we go. One shot. There we go. Go ahead and reload. Bottle of whiskey. Not helpful to you, but highly sought after by others. We got good trading material here. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and continue traveling here. In the middle of the road sits a lone vehicle, a family sedan with more than enough room to hold you and everything you own. Doors have been left open as if the owners were forced to depart uh, suddenly. You carefully examine the interior back to front and find no evidence of a struggle, nor tell, uh, nor tell, tell signs of infected, uh, infection present in the upholstery. Simply abandoned, just like that. Keys are still in the ignition. Ooh, try to start the car. You turn the keys and the engine does start briefly before sputtering and dying. Confused, you pop the hood of the car and take a look. Everything looks fine as far as you could tell. Fuel gauge wasn't reading empty either. So that can't be it. Uh, trait mechanic, ask someone more mechanically minded to help or abandon the vehicle. Ask somebody more mechanically minded to help, why not? You ask the party to have a look at the vehicle and see what's wrong. Elliot, your resident gearhead, takes his time to examine the engine compartment. His actions are completely indecipherable to you, 
especially when he takes off uh, one of his socks, tears it up, and sticks it inside. You want to ask, but decide to wait until repairs are finished. Eventually, he steps aside, throws something metal away, and tells you to step on the gas. To your amazement, the car actually starts up fine, and you ask what he did. He clog, uh, clogged fuel filter, he says with a cheeky grin, wiping his brow. Uh, whatever the case, now you have transportation, at least for a while. So drive the car while it lasts. Why not? Hmm. First time we had a car, I didn't even know we could find a car. That's cool. And maybe we'll wind up on map number two after driving. Who knows? It's going to be interesting to see what happens. We've been driving for over six hours. The car drives for a considerable distance, but eventually runs out of fuel. You're forced to back, uh, go back to walking, but not before you gratefully pat the car on its hood for its service. Uh, start walking. Oh, cool. There's the car that we had. Awesome. All right, let's take a look at the map now and see where the heck we're at. We're definitely tired and hungry now after driving all those hours. All right. Where the hell are we? Okay, now we're all the way down here. Why did we not... If we were up here before, why did we drive all the way down here? Why didn't we just... Instead of driving all the way down there, why didn't we go over here? That's kind of silly that it let us drive, but we couldn't pick where we wanted to go. Hmm. Let's go ahead and try to go over here and go to the city, though. And then we'll pop up here to... Yeah, you can see the blue line there. So we can pop up two notches and be where we need to go. So we're going to go ahead and... Pop. Well, doesn't really matter, I guess. Let's go ahead and pop back over here. Seems like we're kind of backtracking, walking back over an area that we've already drove. Tired. Yeah. Oh man, now we got, we're extremely fatigued, both of us. This is gonna cause us a higher chance of uh, failing the shots. All right, uh, Greg, I need you to move over here, bud. And I need you to go ahead and fire at this bastard. Get him, there we go. Get him, nice. And out of bullets, reload. Go ahead, one more shot. Got him. All right, so rifle bullets didn't really help us a lot. We need to not eat, but we need to rest again. And by the time we rest, uh, we're going to be hungry again. Crazy. Oh, no. One more. Okay, out of bullets again. Go ahead and reload. Nails. Guess we'll pick him up. Rest again. Well, it will stay up. All right, Magic. Thanks for watching, man. Good night. Sleep well. Thanks for the compliment. Elliot's completely spent now. Need to let him rest. Greg stays awake. Like I say, by the time he sleeps, we're both going to be starving, hungry. We're starting to run out of rations. We definitely need to get over that town and find some more food. Can't imagine having more than two people in the group. We'd really have to be, really be running out of supplies quick. But I guess having more people would help in, in attacks and stuff. Okay, we need to eat now. Now we can continue on our way. Crowds are getting high. Gonna make it? Barely. After a lengthy forced march that resulted from trying to escape a large group of rotters, you're beat and feel as if you need a break. Much to your delight, there's a quaint little cottage nearby that appears to be abandoned. You head towards it, expecting a place to relax. Uh-oh. Something's gonna happen here. You open the door and head inside. Everything you see is caked in a thick layer of dust, as if it hadn't been touched in months. You wipe down a couch you find in the living room and carefully remove all your gear so you can relax. Uh, fatigue has been decreased. Take a load off for a little while. 
After a refreshing break, you decide it's time to get back on the road. Gathering your equipment, you return back to your journey. Okay. Well, that worked out better than I thought. Alright. Alright, we're here. We need to go over here so we can hit this city up. Kind of a long stretch here. Growls aren't too high right now, though, so that's good. I think we're going to make it to the next spot. Yep. And every, every little spot has some kind of random event, it looks like. You're approached by an elderly man in a ragged-looking clo uh, cloak. Behind him are four infected, but they seem strangely docile. After long years of study, I've finally done it, he whispers. The dead walk thanks to my arcane ritual. The man seems to be completely mad, but given the infected behind him, maybe he's onto something. I'm going to go ahead and let him keep talking. Strange man babbles incoherently about grimoires and ancient uh, ritual practices. All the while, the infected stand behind him as though no one edible were around. And now you shall join the ranks of my minions, the man shouts suddenly, throwing water balloons at you. They hit their mark, and the infected suddenly stumble towards you. Oh, wow. Okay. So we have four infected here, and they're all coming from the side. And... We're running out of ammo as well. All right, we're going to go ahead and try to hit him first. And we're going to keep Greg back out of the farm's way for right now. Wait a minute. We're going to have you, Greg, we're going to have you sit right here, man. Can you on? Yes, of course. Reload. Hit one. Don't miss. Okay, there's one. Miss, of course. What's going on? Oh, he has to reload every single time. Yes, so I thought he was shooting two at once before. It was a double barreled shotgun, I thought. Yeah, double barreled shotgun. Hmm. Alright. Anyway, Greg, you're going to go ahead and attack this bad boy. And uh you are gonna go ahead and attack this guy. So loading. Come on, hit him, Greg. There we go. Okay, we got him. The elderly man ran off during the fight when it became clear that you were winning. You sniffed the liquid that he threw at you and realized that it smells like soap. But why would he throw soap at you? And why did the infected want to eat him? Hmm, interesting question. I don't know. Alright, we found two shotgun shells. That'll help. Not as many as we used during the fight, but... Alright. Close. We definitely need to find somewhere to trade because we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of crap that we don't need. Like, for example, we don't need this old revolver. We need to trade that out. Pack of cigarettes. Uh, nails, I don't think we need. Uh, bottle of whiskey, we don't need. Uh, watch, we don't need. Shoe and more nails, we don't need. We have lots of crap here that we're carrying that we can't really use and that could be traded for something more useful. Like ammunition or food. Alright, so... Now we're just one notch away from the city. We're going to go ahead and go for the city. We definitely need to get there. Even though they're more dangerous, we need supplies and we need a, a place to rest too by the time we get there. Looks like we might make it. The growls aren't too high here on the stretch of the road. All right, you've arrived in Jenna. Cities are great to find supplies, blah, blah, blah. We have, again, the same usual places of search. Uh, we need to go ahead and eat before we do anything, though. We want to be taking health damage from not eating. And let's go ahead and rest as well. And while we was resting, we got attacked by five freaking zombies. They're coming from both directions. Uh, we're gonna have you move over here, buddy. We're gonna have Greg here move to the middle as well. And unpause. Now I'm going to have you try to go ahead and hit him and do a spray bullet, I think. Try to hit him. And we're just going to have Greg hold out here for a minute. Come on, hit them both. Okay, you hit them both. There we go, he got two at once there. But if he had hit one at a time, it would have been the same result, I think. You have to reload. Um, not good. Go ahead and have you while he's reloading. Let's go ahead and have you move up here. And then 
out of harm's way over here. He's gonna take a shot now. Can't hit bonus. Okay, we don't need we don't need to be doing the spray bullet anymore. Okay, Greg, we need to have you attack him now. There and get grappled. Okay. Homeboy here needs to reload his ammunition. I don't need to be taking any more health damage. I'm grappled right now. Greg. I need to try to ungrapple myself and not get bit. Come on. Grapple broken. Okay. Alright, Greg, hit him. And he did hit his ass. Hurry. Okay, good. But we lost more health. We're down to three now. Not good. Okay. Uh, we need to rest still. That's getting harder, that's for sure. Okay, um... Another shoe? Found two pairs of shoes now. More shotgun shells. Crowbar. Damage five. I don't think that does as much damage as a hunting knife. Damage Go ahead and drop the nails, pick up the hunting knife, and we'll equip the hunting knife. Greg. Okay. And where the hell are we? Oh, we're we're sleeping. We're I don't understand. Hmm. This is interesting. We have zombies attacking, but we're like hidden or what? I don't know what's going on. Let's see what happens. Oh, there we go. We finally appeared. Okay. Okay, got one down. Out of bullets. Reload. Come on, hit, 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 hit. Okay, we hit one. You need to hit the guys closer first, dude. Okay, rest in peace. Out of bullets. He's gonna have to reload. We're gonna have Greg. We're gonna have you come up here and smack him with a dagger. This one. Hurry up, hurry up. Grapple, damn. Okay, so we hit this one. Greg here needs to ungrapple. Try to get away. He's gonna get, you can see his hand. Okay, that kind of shows your grapple as well. Uh, lose any health? No, I didn't lose any more health there. Oh my God, we're getting all kinds of supplies from these zombies on this one. Uh, more supply, we definitely need to trade somewhere. I don't know where the hell we're gonna trade. Rifle bullets will take, even though we don't have a rifle. Uh, duct tape can fix anything. Uh, candle. Uh, police baton. Uh, it doesn't do that much damage. And a wedding ring. Will you marry me? Man. I don't have room for all this crap. I don't know what... I would think a wedding ring would be worth more than nails. Take that. Uh, we'll drop the crowbar and we'll take the... Duct tape, I guess. Yeah. All right, we need to definitely scavenge the drugstore. We're in desperate need of a drugstore. We're gonna have to go for the full 60 minutes to hope we find something to heal Greg. Fortunately, that's a higher chance of an encounter, but we gotta go for it. Go ahead and reload first. Why are we not scavenging drugstore? Let's search for six minutes. There. Come on. Of course not. Five freaking zombies again. Crap. Greg, we need to keep you safe, buddy. I need you to go here to the middle. You can't be risking uh, getting kept up. And Elliot, you can go ahead and fire into this game. Now I need you to move over here, Elliot. Now I need you to go ahead and do a... spray bullets right here, I guess. Okay, one more. Spray bullets, kill them both. Oh, I need to freaking reload. 
Uh, move back over here, Elliot. Greg, I'm gonna have you move over here and see how this works. Crap, we're gonna get grappled by this guy. Zombies coming over here to this guy. They make it kind of hard to run in this game, don't they? All right, Greg, I'm gonna have you go ahead and attack, buddy. And uh, I'm gonna have you keep running back over here. Come on, hit him, Greg. Of course I missed. He's tired as hell, damn. Oh yeah, I never did sleep. Rest in peace. Okay, I killed him. Okay. Just go ahead and do the spray bullet and, and kill him, guy. Oh, he needs to reload. Got all that. Loading. Gonna have to have you move down here, bud. Get over here. Put the zombies, dummy. Now, go ahead and shoot. Of course you missed, bastard. Okay. All the bullets, he's gonna have to reload. Need to move out of the way. And reload. I'll go ahead and go ahead and go for a headshot here. Okay. okay. For it again, hit. How can you miss that close, dude? Jesus Christ. Nice, finally. Waste the damn bullets. You got one bullet left. First aid kit. Nice. It heals four hit points. That'll help. We need that bad. Food rations. We definitely needed food bad as well. Uh, nobody has any room, so I'm going to go ahead and drop this old revolver real quick. I'm going to take the first aid kit. And I'm going to use it with Greg. That helped him. Now I'll pick up my old revolver again. And we need to rest really bad. Keep getting interrupted when we try to rest. In the town, which is new to me, because usually we are able to find a safe place to rest and get rid of our fatigue. But we got interrupted, I think, once or twice down here. The game's definitely getting harder as we try to complete the second part of the main quest here. You notice the growls isn't going up at all because we did find a safe place to rest. Oh. Alright, again, we're up for the night. We're getting up at like 11 p.m. Uh, we need to have Elliot go ahead and reload his one bullet. We need to scavenge. We've already tried the drugstore. Uh... I guess we'll go ahead and scavenge the grocery store, look for food. Go ahead and go for 40 minutes here. Not as high of a chance of an encounter. We did uh, successfully scavenge without getting noticed. Found three food rations. Okay. Scavenge again. We're going to go for the police station. Again, we'll go for 40 minutes here. And of course, we get interrupted by freaking zombies again. Uh, okay, so Greg here, I did notice we found two pistol bullets. We'll go ahead and equip the revolver real quick. And he's gonna go ahead and take a shot here. And we're gonna go for the upper hit shot. And we are gonna go for a hit shot. We're gonna make Greg's going for that one, yeah. Fine, go. Actually, Greg needs to reload. Miss, of course. Okay, he's out of bullets now. Alright, if somebody has another weapon they can use, he has... Let's go ahead and drop this hunting knife. And Elliot will pick it up. But, he'll drop his watch and pick it up. And Greg will pick up the watch. So we got two of them down. Elliot, I need you just holding tight for right now, bud. Hold still right here. Come on, Greg, hit him. 
tenure, you've lost as well. This as well, so we have no bullets on either one of you guys now. Elliot, you have a hammer to equip. We're gonna have to go for melee attacks. This is not good. Three zombies each. I mean, three zombies for both of them. I mean, someone's gonna have to take down one. Uh. Elliot, I'm going to have you run up here right now. I'm going to have you attack this guy. Come on, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Okay, he got hurt a little bit. Okay, both you guys kick this guy's ass. Okay. I took a little bit of damage. Oh, we found pistol bullets and rifle bullets. Awesome. Okay, and that's from searching the police station, I think, not because the zombies dropped him. Okay. Need to eat. Some more eat. Now we are going to scavenge the apartments. 40 minutes again. This is not as high of a chance of uh, encounter. And we did successfully scavenge the apartments where we find. Pistol bullets is nice. Or duct tape. Um, can't pick up two duct tapes, can you? Nope, each one takes a different slot. We'll definitely take the food rations, though. Um, I think it might be important to keep both shoes. We can't equip them, though. Unfortunately, I think they're just trading material. Um, everything we have is probably more valuable than what's sitting there on the ground, so I guess we'll leave that stuff behind. And we're going to go ahead and continue moving along now. Map. When we run on the stream, 41 minutes. Okay. So we are now right here. We need to get up here. Let's go ahead and go way up here. It's a long trip, 34 kilometers. Browse, we're going to have... Yep. Just two, though. Okay, Elliot, I need you to stand back here, buddy. Greg, go ahead and go for... Oh, Greg needs to equip the gun. Go for the headshot, man. One. There we go. Got bullets. We're going to have him go ahead and reload. Found a flashlight. Cancels hit chance penalty when fighting in the dark. We don't have any room for it, man. Um, I'm just going to leave it going to continue on. Alright. Growls are high again. Probably going to have another fight before we get to this spot. Close. Yeah, we made it. Up ahead, you can see a human body lying in the road. Search the body. Let's throw a rock at it first. Uh, Elliot throws a rock, which crashes directly into the corpse's forehead. Suddenly, its eyes spring open and it climbs to its feet. Well, I guess it's a good thing we didn't uh, search it, huh? All right, just go ahead and go for a headshot there, Greg. You can get it. Yeah, go ahead and reload. And a fishing rod. Ooh, that sounds like that might be more important than a watch. Yeah, close. I would think a fishing rod would be more important in an apocalypse than a, than a watch. More valuable. It's going to be trading material, I'm sure. But one more spot, and then we can move on to map number two. We are still uh, trying to complete that quest to get to the cabin so we can get our son. All right, Greg, go ahead and go for that shot there, man. Elliot, I'm going to have you go ahead and go up and attack this bad boy. Well, Greg, you're shooting this zombie. Nice. All right, go ahead and reload. Found some rope. Looks strong enough to immobilize someone. Wow. Um, what is more important, rope or like a wedding ring? Huh. I would think rope would be more important than a wedding ring in, in an apocalypse. Yes, more zombie killing. Hey, Ant-Man, good to see you, buddy. Yep, we're still trying to make it over to uh, that bastard Zach's uh, cabin. Uh, we're not making a whole lot of progress, even though we found a car. Like, we found a car and was able to drive. 
but it didn't let me choose where to drive so it kind of backtracked and went in a different direction than I should have went so it didn't really help me a whole lot it's kind of weird um go ahead and continue traveling we only got a short distance to go to get to the town I think or no to get to the spot where we can move to map number two uh you arrive at a small fortified community with a barter stand there we go we finally got to a spot where we can trade we have so much crap we can trade off Okay, this is the first time I've seen a trader in this game yet. Uh, click to sell. You must spend your credits immediately. So you can't keep credits, like, you know, for later on. Um, give the ring to the other. The, both of them have complete, are completely, uh, full of stuff, man. Yeah, I, I, both of them are completely packed. Alright, so, we don't need the cigarettes. We'll go ahead and sell those. Wait a minute, let's see what we can buy. Antibiotics. We are we left a flashlight sitting in the road, and it's worth six credits. It's worth more than anything that we have. That's crazy. And we can buy ammo as well. Okay, we're gonna sell all this crap and buy some antibiotics and buy some ammo. Revolver. I don't want. I want to sell the old revolver. Firm. I have eight credits now. Fishing rod. We don't need that. Bottle of whiskey. Sell that. A hammer. I don't know if we want to sell the hammer. Um, let me see. Right now we have 17 credits. I can buy pistol bullets. I definitely want to buy some of those. Oh, they're two credits each for each bullet. It's freaking two credits. That's expensive. Wow. Uh, antibiotics. That might. Okay, he only has one of those. Uh, but each bullet is freaking two credits. Wow. And then... One food ration is four credits. This guy's kind of expensive. Damn. Uh, shotgun sh shells. I think those are probably better than pistols. I'm not sure. I'm going to go ahead and buy him some bullets. We have five credits left. Uh... We can also sell off this, these rifle bullets that we don't need. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and sell all of these puppies. We can't even use those. Okay, now we can buy them some crap. Okay. Doing pretty good on food. I think I'm just going to load up on ammo right now. He only has five shotgun shells left to sell. 13 credits. Now I have five. I think we're going to go ahead and sell this hammer too. And that will give us an even number of credits so we can buy more of these. More of this ammo. Alright, we each got 16 now. We're done. Okay. Pretty interesting. Alright, so... Manage group, nothing here lying on the ground. Oops. Uh, Greg needs the antibiotics more, so he's going to go ahead and use them. And then that'll open up another spot for to get stuff as well. Surprised we couldn't sell the shoes or the duct tape or the rope. Hmm, maybe this guy doesn't want them. Or we can't sell that stuff? Nope. Let us. Okay. No, you're not getting my revolver, buddy. Alright, let's go ahead and see where we're at. Now we're on the second map. We need to get all the way over here and then to here. We got a long ways to go yet. We're gonna go ahead and move over move on along then. I'm gonna need to stop and eat here in a second so I don't take health damage from being hungry. Don't need that. Um Growls aren't too bad. Getting really tired. We're, we're a long ways away from a town, so I think we're going to go ahead and try to rest here. Elliot will stay awake for right now. Come on, Greg. Sleep, man. Growls are getting up there. Yeah, I like this game. This game's pretty damn fun. All right. Alright, now we'll... Growls are getting intense, but try to get Elliot some rest as well. Greg will stay up. 
And then we're going to be hungry again. The bad thing about resting here is that if the zombies come in, they're going to come in right here real close, probably. Come on, Elliot, get some sleep. You're not sleeping very well, dude. At least he's in the green now. Oh, great. Now it's raining. Not good. 3 o'clock in the morning. Wow, I've never seen the fog like that. That's cool looking. All right. Now look how tired Greg is. The rain definitely makes you tired quicker. Because look how tired he already is. We need to eat again. Both of them will eat. We're down to six rations. Start traveling again. Almost there. We're going to make it. You see a man in a surgeon's dress walking down the road. He uh, glances you up and down and says, You look reasonably sane. I'm a doctor. If you have someone that's injured, I might have something to patch them up with an, uh, with, uh, patch them up with in exchange for some food. We don't have five rations. Give him five rations, but don't ask for treatment. I'm going to say we can't spare any. I see, the doctor says, shaking his head. It's a pity I can't offer my services for free anymore. A man has to eat, you know? Continues on his way. Well, that'd probably be worth it, especially if we were, like, really hurt. If we were down to, like, two or three hit points and we had enough food, it definitely would have been worth it. But both my guys are doing pretty good, and we just don't have the food to spare. Yeah, see, we're both pretty good, and we barely hit. We, if we give him five rations, we're sucking. And there's no guarantee that he's an honest man, either. I'm sure he probably would have healed us, but... See, he probably would have asked who needed healing, and, like, if Greg was still down at, like, three hit points or something like he was earlier, we, he probably would have got... Might have got healed all the way up for that five food. That would have been worth it for sure. Um, we're going to continue. Where are we at? Here. We're going to go ahead and work our way down get to the city, I guess. We don't got far to go on this little stretch. Almost there. Ear-piercing beeps can be heard going off within a few seconds of each other. A car alarm is going off not too far from here. A figure can be seen inside with several infected beatings pounding on the vehicle so we basically have somebody trapped in a car and infected zombies are basically trying to break in and feed on him so we're going to go ahead and try to be the heroes here and help him out investigate the situation you get closer to the vehicle but still cannot make out if the figure is an uh is an infected or a survivor well, I can't imagine why zombies would be trying to get inside to eat another zombie. I would assume it would be a survivor. Uh, that's just coming from watching The Walking Dead. The alarm has covered up the sound of your footsteps, and the rotters have not noticed your presence. Okay. Move closer to get a better view. Uh, let's go ahead and move closer, I guess. Use the distraction to walk by. No, we're not gonna. We're not gonna ignore it. Uh, you're just a few meters away from the vehicles now and see a woman sitting in the driver's seat with her hands cuffed around her eyes and sobbing. The windshield won't hold for much longer. We're going to help the woman. You discreetly take care of a rotter that was banging on the driver's side window and quickly help the woman out of the car. The alarm uh, keeps some of the uh, other infected busy. You manage to pull the woman free, but as the pair of you sneak away, you are followed by several rotters. You tell the woman to hide, and he'll take care of it. Alright, so maybe we'll get another teammate here. I need to get freaking Greg the hell out of here. You need to get over here, buddy. And you need to take your shotgun and all your ammo I bought you. And, uh, actually we need to load him up with his double barrel shotgun again, since he has ammo. Greg has his revolver okay yeah you can go ahead and shoot this guy actually you know what um you can shoot this guy and like i said you move okay come on get him oh yeah oh he's gonna reload great come on okay this guy's about to take a shot he's about to take a shot at him Uh, yeah, Elliot, shoot him. You, move away. Oh, crap. Move further away. Huh. Out of bullets. Both of you need to reload. Stupid zombies. Okay. Now, 
Greg, I need you to... Yeah, okay, he's already training this one. Okay. Miss, of course. Why are you guys missing so much? Waste of freaking bullets, man. These guys are supposed to be experts at the guns they're carrying, and they miss like half the time. It's nuts. Uh, speaking from behind a tree, the woman says, Thank you so much. I didn't know how uh, I would have gotten out of that mess without you. Uh, my name is Tara. You hear her sniffle and wipe her face. I know it may not seem like I can uh, do much, but I would like to travel with you if you would let me, please. Uh, we don't have much food. We're going to go ahead and reload here while we consider this. Uh, whoever's watching, what do you think? Should I let Tara come along with us? We don't have much food, but I don't know. We can't really see her traits or anything like that, so we don't know if she's good at anything or if she's just going to be a drain, you know? Hmm. I mean, we helped her, so if we leave her stranded here, she'll probably die if you think about it like that. So, I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I let Tara come along, or should I tell her, adios, we saved your life, you know, get you out of the vehicle? Uh, good enough. See if somebody in my live stream chat here wants to give me a suggestion on what I should do about Terra here. All right, I guess we're going to go ahead and let Tara join us and see what happens here, guys. All right. Tara, let's take a look at her. She has 10 out of 10 health as well. What is she specialized in? All right, so I guess one good thing about bringing Tara along with us is we're going to have more... Um, She's an intermediate rifle uh, carrier. We sold all our right or rifle bullets. Yeah, we sold all our rifle bullets at the last trader. We don't have a rifle anyway, but she has a soothing personality. But I guess one good thing about her is she's going to help us carry more stuff. We won't have to be leaving stuff on the road, but we are going to have to protect somebody and heal somebody if they get hurt now. Uh, that kind of thing. We can always leave her at any time. Uh, says Tara thought she could make it east by driving, but cars make so much noise that they tend to attract way too much attention from the infected and non-infected. Well, that kind of makes sense. Uh, we'll go ahead and pick up the nails. Tara will be the perfect person to carry that. We're going to go ahead and we have all three of us here now. Greg, go ahead and get over here towards the middle, man. And uh, Elliot, you get over here towards the middle as well. Kind of get here as a group. There we go, that'll work. Greg is getting really tired. Let's go ahead and let Greg rest. Uh, and actually, pick who remains uh, to protect the group. I can only select one, so I guess we'll let both of those guys rest for a little bit. Have Tara sit here and watch. Good morning, how you doing? Uh, see you plays Minecraft, how you doing? Welcome to the stream. Guys, rest up. Growls are getting intense here. Of course, we're getting getting attacked here now. How many zombies? Oh no, nobody. They're both rested. Okay, I thought I got attacked. All right, the growls are right about there though. Map. You're right here. We're gonna go ahead and try to move down. Pretty long stretch of the road here. Growls are going up quick. Stop. Can I go ahead and move this guy towards the middle? I can. Move Elliot here towards the middle. Okay, I like how you can kind of, you know, move them wherever you want before you, while you're walking. That's pretty cool. Oh my god. So it looks like I've never seen six zombies before. It looks like the number of zombies that you come across uh, is going to be increased by the number of people in your group. So that is not good because Terra here doesn't even have a weapon. Uh, I don't think she's skilled with a weapon. Uh, of course, it doesn't really say any kind of melee traits for the characters. 
All right, so who has a weapon that we can drop here? We have plenty of ammo for both guys. Uh, revolver, he only has a revolver. Okay, he's gonna go ahead, Elliot will drop the one. We only have one freaking weapon for all three of them. That's a hunting knife. Hera will pick that puppy up and equip it, just in case. Get some zombies here to deal with. And, uh, all right. So Greg, you're gonna go ahead and again go for the headshot as usual. Elliot, you will go ahead and go for your main shot. And you are targeting this guy. Greg is targeting this guy. That's, that's fine, that'll work. And uh, Tara, I just want you sitting still for a minute. Don't want her automatically charging right now. That we get rid of some of these guys. Okay, go ahead and let you guys shoot. Okay. Uh, Greg needs to reload. Loading. What are you doing, dude? You need to reload too. That's what I was thinking. Greg, move over here out of the way. Okay, what happened here? Did I miss or did I hit? I don't know. I didn't look like I hit anything. Okay, Tara, go ahead and hit this guy with your hunting knife. And see what you can do. And Greg, get the hell out of the way. Both of them are ripping on Tara right now. Uh, she's only halfway swung. Elliot, hit, hit the zombie first. And you, hit the zombie as well. Almost there, this guy's gonna get grappled. We don't want Kara to die though. Okay. Elliot, move out of the way. Greg, go ahead and hit this guy. Come on, dude. Get him. Thank you. All right, go ahead and reload both of them. We're running out of ammo after all that ammo we bought. Woo, man. And we didn't get any supplies from that either. Six zombies and they didn't drop a damn thing, not even a nail. All right, let's go ahead and continue on, guys. All getting pretty hungry. We're gonna have to watch that. Again, we took health damage one time in our first episode from not eating. Uh, you find a quiet place next to a lake. You look around just to be sure, but uh, can't see any sign of the infected. If we had a fishing rod, we could take a moment to fish. I didn't know we could use a fishing rod. We ended up trading it. I figured that's all it was good for. Yeah, but how often are we gonna come across a lake where we can use a fishing rod? I mean, that was just a random luck coincidence. Bad luck, I guess, that we sold our fishing rod or traded it for ammo. We'll take a few minutes to relax. Okay, let's go ahead and eat. We can fill eat. We can fill them up. Let's just go ahead and have. Tara's not gonna eat yet. We're just gonna eat. Fill these guys up, and we're gonna continue on along the road. We're here now, we're almost at the city. We definitely need supplies, including food. We're not that far away. And of course, we get attacked by five freaking zombies again. Not good. Okay, go ahead and shoot him. That'll work. Hera, I need you staying still for right now. Because if you don't tell the one that has a melee weapon to stay still, they'll come run off charging like four zombies or whatever. Who knows what they're automatically going to do. And of course, I'm missing. The way we run out of ammo, guys, we keep missing all the time. You're fully rested, almost, so there's no reason for you to be missing every freaking shot. Ridiculous. Supposed to be experts at these. Uh, Gregory is, I mean, Elliot's a master at the shotgun, and uh, Greg is a master at the pistol, but these guys miss all the time. Seems like it, right? Okay, he hit, finally. Come on, guys, hit, 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 hit. Oh, Greg's reloading. What's going on here with Greg? Why is he just sitting here? Oh, he needs to reload, okay. Uh, Tara, go up here and kill this guy. Grappled and now I'm bitten. Oh no. Elliot's been bitten. That's not good. That's really, really bad. Such nice scenery. Yeah, no kidding. Look at the pretty country. Oh man, we got freaking Elliot bitten though. Being grappled. Damn it. Uh, Elliot. Bullets, he doesn't even have an option to get ungrappled. 
Okay, Kara, kill this guy. You think you can hit him, Greg, before he gets bitten again? One of you guys kill him. Good God. All right, so... Elliot is now 8 out of 10 uh, infected. This character is infected and will lose one health point every day until unless we get something to cure his infection, which probably is not very likely. Uh, we're near a town, though, is the good thing, and we're close. But we had to have those zombies attack us one kilometer, one and a half kilometers. That's so close to our town. And we got Elliot bitten. Not good. All right, just the bullets. Oh boy, okay, let's go ahead and have Elliot reload. Greg, do you need to reload? No, you don't. Go ahead and continue traveling, guys. Well, we need to find, uh, we're gonna have to search the hospital. I guess we'll search the drugstore first. We gotta go for it. We gotta go for the maximum search. Higher chance of an encounter, but we gotta go for it. Alright, six freaking zombies now. Right. You hit him. Here, right now, I need you. I don't need you bitten, so I need you to stand back for a minute. Come on, guys, hit something. <laughs> Miss! That's what I'm talking about. Miss. Of course, uh, Elliot hit here. One down out of six. Come on, guys, hit. What's going on with you? you need to Elliot needs to reload after this shot. Greg, where are you shooting at? Shoot him. Miss again. This is what I'm talking about. Miss, 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 miss by experts. Miss. Another freaking miss. You guys are pissing me off. I'm going to have to have Kara go in and kill all these guys with her freaking hammer or whatever the hell she has. Nine. Go up here and kill this guy. Kara. These guys can't hit nothing. Finally they hit. Greg hit one. Okay. Kara, I need you... Uh, it's not even begun swinging yet. Crap, this is not good. Greg, since you're the guy already bit, you can go for this guy. And Greg, you're gonna move out, out of the way. I don't need two of you guys bit. I don't, probably ought to move Kara out of the way too. Kara is grapple. Get ungrappled, Kara. Back. And look at this, another freaking miss. This game's ridiculous, man. I mean, I know this is dice rolling, this is all luck and stuff like that, but I, I'm having terrible luck as far as hitting with these rifles and the guns. Kara's gonna have to get out of here and get the hell out of the way because three zombies are coming for her. Grapple broken. Okay, Kara, get the hell out of here. Get over here. Okay, what's going on here? Elliot is now grappled. Or being trying to be grappled. Greg is trying to shoot now. Out of bullets. We gotta reload. Hold up, we have to reload. Man, this is a mess. Kara, kill this guy. Greg, move out of the way while you're reloading. Okay, Kara hit him. And you hit somebody. You think you can hit this guy, man? Elliot, you think you can hit this guy? I doubt it. No bullets are available. He doesn't have any bullets left, so Elliot needs to get out of here before he gets hurt worse. He's already down to 4 out of 10 hit points. Think you can hit him? Greg, don't get bitten. God, guys. Alright, hit this guy now, Greg. You need to reload again, huh? Loading. Out of the way, man. Stay out of the way. Come on, hit him, Greg. I know he's far away, but come on. Got him. Okay, we finally hit something. Eight pistol bullets left is all we had. We barely survived that encounter. What if he doesn't miss again? Rest in peace, Elliot. Yeah, Elliot might be dead. Uh, he's losing a lot of health. All right, reload, Greg. You're the only one with bullets left. Uh, Elliot, get back over here to the middle. All right, that only heals one hit point. 
Uh, I think we're gonna have Elliot take that. Use it. Well, I don't know if he dies. He's losing one hit point a day. I think we're gonna go ahead and have him use it though. Decisions, decisions, but that gets him back up to five out of 10. And we've already scavenged the drugstore. We're gonna have to go for the hospital next to hope we find something. Uh, 60 minutes is only a slightly higher chance of an encounter than 40 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and go for the max here. Uh, actually, we're gonna go ahead and close this real quick. We're gonna have this guy move up here to the middle. Have Terra move to the middle as well. And scavenge. All right, now we'll scavenge the hospital. Yeah, right here. Come on, guys. No encounter, no encounter, no encounter, no encounter. Find something, okay? A bandage heals two hit points and antibiotics. That helps. We still need to cure the infection, though, and I don't know what it takes to uh, cure an infection. I don't know if you just get them to max health if that if they're cured, or if you got to find uh, like probably got to find a cure or something. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what. Um, I don't know what you have to do to cure them. I don't know if it'd be smarter to go ahead and heal up Greg all the way with like the bandage and at least that way he's a full health and we, I mean Elliot may end up dying anyway as we get out there on the road and you know we're traveling and stuff like that and we don't have any kind of antibiotics uh, and he keeps losing health he might be a goner anyway because I haven't seen anything like uh, you know a cure or anything so I don't even know if there's a chance of that I think what we're going to do, guys, is with this game, right now we're at a minute and 10 minutes. I don't want to run these videos too long. So I think I'm going to go ahead and consider this. And in the meantime, before I play again, I'm going to Google and see if you can even find uh, a cure for somebody that's infected, uh, you know, in your group. Or if it's pretty much just a lost cause. That way we'll know what to do when we start up again on the next stream. Uh, what to do with this bandage and antibiotics that we Elliot, Or if we should, if it would be smarter to use it for one of our other guys because it's kind of hopeless. So I want to go ahead and thank you guys for watching. This has been Zaxter99 with my second playthrough and stream uh, of this game. So I want to go ahead and thank you guys. And uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Be sure you comment down below. Be sure you rate my video. Take care. We'll see you in the next one.